everyone and welcome back to day three of the Africa Science Buskers Festival. My name is Sandalim Tetwa and I'll be your host again for this ceremony and awards, um, for the closing and awards ceremony today. So this is by far the biggest Africa Science Buskers Festival we've had with 175 finalists from 17 countries. And I would like to thank all our organizers, our sponsors and everyone who has supported this event. We are truly um, grateful for what you've done. So the festival has definitely been an exciting program from day one. Uh, in day one, we had shout out videos. We had the keynote address by Professor Sina. And we also have an, um, had an amazing interview with Danielle and Pelagia. So firstly, let's take a look at some of the highlights of day one in this video. Thank you so much for showing us the highlights. Um, now to what everyone is 
waiting for onwards to our first round of awards. So we have different categories of awards that we'll be giving out today. And the first round of awards is the special um, category awards. So this awards um, are going to be four in total. And the first one is the Purpose Lab Award. So the Purpose Lab Award is going to be awarded to all you amazing finalists of this 2020 Virtual Africa Science Baskets Festival. What you're going to get from this, um, from this award is six month membership to the Purpose Lab. And for those of you who don't know what the Purpose Lab is, it is a lab that equips young people with resources to pursue their passions in science and technology. Free membership, guys, six months starting from January 2021. I say congratulations to all you guys who have won this amazing free membership um, from the Purpose Lab. Now onwards to our second round of awards. So remember we had the ASBF Thon Challenge and uh, in this year, um, we had an intensive online marathon where participants of the Africa Science Buskers Festival team uh, virtually solved scientific problems, uh, proposing solutions and creating prototypes of solutions in just 48 hours. So all you amazing scientists brought in their solutions uh, where they had to develop, test and improve the solutions uh, for current challenges that we face in our society. So this year's challenge was for participants in 27 WhatsApp groups where they had to design a program to make uh, STEM more attractive to young people in Africa. So the team that had the best solution, again, will receive free membership in the Purpose Lab for six months, starting January 2021. So in this Purpose Lab, the uh, winners will be supported with resources and mentorship to develop their conceptual solution. They'll also be given the opportunity to present their solution at the annual Purpose Lab Summit. So who are the winners of this ASBF Thon Challenge? Our winners are Ziva STEM, led by Vivian Clarissa Chinoda and Yara Nicole Mutiti, all the way from Zimbabwe. So their project is the creation of a highly engaging physical and online resource that includes more four main components for effective learning streams for students in science. So this will include child-centered school programs, accessible resource documents, a Ziva STEM website, and also YouTube channel. Congratulations to you guys at Ziva STEM. Thank you so much for proposing such an amazing um, idea on making STEM more accessible to young people in Africa. So next up, we have the People's Choice Award. So again, this year, you people um, sent in your ex lovely experiments and we had people voting for the experiments that they liked the most. So this year, 10 projects are getting the People's Choice Award. The recipient of the People's Choice Award will get a lovely certificate from the Africa Science Baskas Festival. So who are our 10 winners? First up at number 10, we have Bright Josam with a total of 444 votes. His project is on biological method of pest control. Next up on number nine, we have Kayla, Dinda, and Sarah, with a total of 445 votes. Their project is Oncolytic Viruses for Cancer Treatment as the Alternative uh, Chemotherapy Method. Next up, we have Siti and Mohammed Abil, with a total of 488 votes. Their project is social science, study on the perception of patriarchy by neutralizing femininity and masculinity. 
Next up, we have Setio Bayo and Dara and Ali Fazara, who have 619 votes. Their project, anti odor spray from Noni Leaf and Mint. With 658 votes, we have Malia and Nazwa, whose project is on a preliminary study in antioxidant candy, which is based from drumstick tree and alloy. Next up, with a total of 809 votes, we have Victoria, whose project is on the reuse and reduction of carbonates in drinking water. With a huge jump there of 1,126 votes, um, we have Shinta Hikmawati and Shinda Sal Salsabila and Wulan, whose project is chapter one, fetal chemicals analysis from betel leaf as bioseptic spray to inhibit um, Staphylococcus um, aureus. Ooh, tongue twisting words there. With a total of 2,015 votes, we have Asia, whose project is on Dusa dioxide. Next up with 4,802, Izipozonke Mlambo, whose project is on synchronization, a solution. And on our number one spot, with a total of 5,455 votes, we have Farida, whose project is a 3D prosthetic hand controlled via bra uh, brain waves. Congratulations to you guys all who've won the People's Choice Award. And thank you so much to everyone who voted in this category. You guys will be getting a certificate for your efforts. And thank you. Right, so moving on to our next awards. So the next category of awards is from Ruma KIR and the COIN Network. So they were awarding um, projects that they deemed to have uh, had coherence and correspondence and had the essence of the uh, pragmatic values that they value in research in Indonesia. So for the Ruma KR Awards, we have a total of five young scientists who have been given this award. They will get a medal and a, a e-certificate as well um, from Ruma KIR. Now, so who are our lucky winners for this award? Firstly, we have Rafaela. So Rafaela is from Brazil. And his project is um, DIO, Culture Medium, a simple and quick alternative to the orchids production. Next up in this category, we have Crispin Makoni. Crispin is from Zimbabwe and his project is Portable Recycling Machine. Next up for the Ruma KIR Indonesia Award, we have Jacqueline all the way from the United States of America. Her project is Cycle Plus, the upscaling of fiscal waste as an environmentally friendly thin plastic like material to combat white pollution. Next up for this award is Gabriel Matemba, who is from Zimbabwe. His project, SmartEye, a mobile application that tests HIV AIDS status. And lastly, for the Ruma KRR Indonesia Award, we have Jordan from the United States of America, whose project is on Spira Mir uh, Mirabilis 2, optimizing the performance of Achimeda's wind turbine with logarithmic spiral concept. Again, I say congratulations to you guys for getting the Ruma KIR Indonesia Award. Certificates and medals will be coming your way. Now, so we're going to take a little break before we get to our next um, set of um, awards.
We are going to have highlights from... Right, you guys have seen some interesting highlights from day two yesterday where we had the virtual science and technology series. I'm sure all of you enjoyed that session and you learned a lot from all our amazing experts who had so much to, to teach you. Now moving on to the next category of awards, our bronze medalist. So out of the 175 finalists, we have 25 who have um, been awarded the bronze medal, medals, um, they will be getting medals and certificates. Right, so moving on, who are our bronze awardees? From Zimbabwe, we have Vin Lo Mudewe, Israel, uh, Iniqua. Also, Shalom Baze from Zimbabwe. From South Africa, we have Cameron. From Chile, we have Victoria Rubina. Our next set of bronze medalists, we have from Zimbabwe, Princess Chiduro, Norutendo, and Locution Wanda. We have Esther Kandawire from Zambia and Apie Sikweza from South Africa. Our next bronze medalists are from Zimbabwe, Tawana Nyasha and Valentine Sherekete. From Brazil, we have Anna Carolina and Giovanna. From Malawi, we have Aida and Sibongile. Next set of bronze medalists we have from Zimbabwe, Sharon Ramusi and Ruarashe Moyo. From Malawi, we have Cecilia Ziva and Dennis Kaunda. From Nepal, we have Rabin Tiwari. And Turkey, we have Bilal and Sinemis. Takuz Gwamadziwa from Zimbabwe and Wongai Mukamba from Zimbabwe as well. From South Africa, we have Joseph Twayela. From Zambia, we have Imanga Makupa, Tunisia Chaima Chafta. Next up, we have from Zambia, Betty Glovu. From Nepal, we have Azam Khan. Nigeria, we have Ifeanyi Victor Victory. Tanzania, we have Oliver Got Living, and Zimbabwe, Crispin Makoni. Next set of bronze medalists, we have Tariro Chideo from Zimbabwe, Tyrone, Milton, Forgiveness, Simon, all from Zimbabwe. Next up, we have from Zimbabwe again, Memory Bungo, Tabo, and Shama. And from Indonesia, we have Kaylin and Pranya. Our last set of bronze medalists, we have from Malawi, Weli, Amos, and Modesta. From Indonesia, Shinta and Shinda. From Zimbabwe, we have Tafaz Wampofu, Kudakwashe Chitapi, Makanaka Chahue, and Wayne Musing uh, Musingwini. Lastly, from Tunisia, we have Safa and Zainab. Congratulations to you all. You are getting medals and e-certificates coming your way. Now, next up, after the bronze medalists, 
we have the silver medalists. But we're just going to take a short break before we announce who our silver medalists are. Right, welcome back and onwards we go, our silver medalists. 25 um, of the 175 finalists, here we go. First up we have from South Africa, Isabel Zonke and Constantly from uh, South Africa. We have from Turkey, Aslan and Dani. From Zambia, we have Tapiwa Mulenga. And from Taiwan, we have Tu Yang Yang. From Malawi, we have Bright Joseph. From Zimbabwe, we have Tinoim Banashe Chibanda and Nogutenda Surombe. From Brazil, we have Lais Bilet and Rafaela Liberali. Next up, we have from Zimbabwe, Vivian Chinoda, Kelvin Sangweme, Mercy Tomo. And blessed Kuchkauribo. Tanzania, we have Said Hosa. Next up, we have Munashe Kagodo from Zimbabwe and David Nimaongwe from Zimbabwe. From Brazil, we have Vinicius. From South Africa, we have Masal Sebastian. And from Turkey, we have Yusuf and Eyal. More silver medalists, we have Grace Nyakarombo from Zimbabwe. We have Nogutaba, Christine and Malia from Zimbabwe as well. From Nepal, we have Dipendra Nepali. And from Turkey, we have Asil. From Nigeria, we have Obia Nuju, Chimamanda, Jason and Purity. Next up, oh, is that it? Okay. So for our silver medalists, uh, they are also going to get e-certificates and, and medals. And uh, for our silver medalists from Africa, they are also going to get 50 US dollars from our sponsors. Congratulations to you all. And I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. So next up, we have the gold medalists. The gold medalists, um, 25 finalists again. But before that, we're just going to have a short break and then we'll be back shortly. Welcome back, guys. So now we're moving on to our gold medalists. So our gold um, medalists are going to get a medal, e-certificate, and all our medalists um, from Africa are also going to get 100 US dollars from our sponsors. So first up, we have 
From Zimbabwe, Dimitri Adubin's project is on Demio Airbus. Another gold medalist, we have Kundai Jigu from Zimbabwe again. His project is on Sticky Mosquito Trap. Next up, all the way from the United States of America, we have Ibrahim, whose project is on Max Health. Next up, we have Isabel from Brazil, whose project is on Lambani cultivation and its effluent use in the fitigation of leafy vegetables. Next up, we have Gabriele Monique, who's from Brazil. Her project is on the evaluation of an effect of edible biofilm associated or not with refrigeration and the conservation of fresh vegetables. Next up, we have from Indonesia, Kayla, uh, Dinda, and Sarah, whose project is on oncolytic viruses for cancer treatment as the alternative chemotherapy method. Amrita from Indonesia, again, her project is on the Extraction of organic uh, sorbitol, canal wax, EFB for biodegradable chitosan. Next up, we have from Indonesia, Alvin Sendekia and Rifaldo, whose project is on SONA GPS transmitter tracking. Indonesia again representing, we have uh, CT and Asia whose project is on smart smoke box with ionization activated zeolite. Indonesia again, we have Malia and Nazwa, whose project is on an antioxidant candy based from drumstick, tree and alloy. We are from Turkey, Metin Barokas, whose a uh, uh, project is on an experimental battery that can be charged by low frequency. From Zimbabwe, we have Leona Madana, whose project is on making an eco-friendly starch-based bioplastic. Next up from Zimbabwe, we have Gabriel and Calvin, whose project is on an automatic sanitizer dispenser. From Brazil, we have Natalia, whose project is on partial and total replacement of agar by cassava starch and corn starch in the in vitro micropropagation of the orchid dendrobium. From the United States of America, we have Jordan, whose project is on Spira Mirabilis II, optimizing the performance of Archimedes wind turbine with logarithmic spiral concept. Next up for Mexico, we have Anna and Vanessa, whose project is on the degradation of polystyrene and polyethylene through the use of Zofobus Morio and Galleria Melonella and the elaboration of bioplastics as a green alternative. We have from United States of America, Jacqueline, whose project is on Psychodoplus, Ups, ups, upcycling fiscal waste as an environmentally friendly thin plastic like material to combat white pollution. From Zambia, we have Natasha Kasinga, whose project is sustainable fuel. Another gold medalist we have from Zambia, Caleb, whose project is on automatic poultry reminder. Next up from Zimbabwe, we have Nyara Zomutiti, whose project is the direct conversion of biomass carbohydrates into platform molecules. From South Africa, we have Farida, whose project is Project Limbs. Next up, we have Tepo, who's from South Africa. His project is Five Steps into the Future. From Nepal, we have um, Adija, whose project is Li-Fi. Next up, another gold medalist, we have Asia from Zimbabwe, whose project is Dusa Dioxide. 
Cholano from South Africa, whose project is antibiotics based on onions. And that is it, guys, our 25 gold medalists. Again, you guys are going to get those from um, Africa are going to also get USD $100 from our sponsors. Congratulations to you guys. You have been amazing. Um, I think we have come to the end of our... Um, oh, oh, no, we haven't. We have one more uh, award category. But before that, uh, we would like to show you some highlights from today's Zoom party. I heard you guys had a party, uh, young finalists but you forgot to invite me. So unfortunately I did not get into the fun, but we have some highlights that we want to show with you on what you guys were getting up to. So can we have uh, some of those highlights, please? Right. Thank you so much for showing those highlights. I'm sure everyone who attended um, the party had a very good time and got to learn more about each other from all the countries you're from. And hopefully you guys are going to be friends and you're always go going to keep in touch. Right. So next up, we are going to have our final category of awards. And this uh, set of awards is by the Broadcom Foundation. They're giving four awards. Um, four awards with a lot of money as well. So I really advise those who've won to spend their money wisely. So here are the awards from the Broadcom Foundation. Right, so first up, we have the Broadcom Foundation Award given to the youngest finalist, Cherry Tichirara, who's only nine years old. And her project is on floating eggs. So Charity is going to receive USD $250 from the Broadcom Foundation. Next up in third place from the Broadcom Foundation Award, we have Demetria Dube, whose project is on Demio Ebas. So again, Demetria is going to receive USD $250 as a prize for her project. In second place, we have Sholano Mohale, whose project is on antibacterial effect of onions on multidrug resistant uh, Escherichia coli and Salmonella isolated from groundwater intended for human consumption. So in second place, she is going to receive USD $250 from the Broadcom Foundation. Now in first place, so the grand award for this year's Africa Science Buskers Festival sponsored by the Broadcom Foundation is going to Leona Madana whose project is making an eco-friendly starch-based bioplastic. Leona is going to receive USD $500 from the Broadcom Foundation. I must say congratulations to all four of you. Congratulations to all our winners for this year. You guys did a great job. Thank you so much for everyone who took part in the People's Choice Awards in the voting. And thank you so much to our sponsors who have graciously given us awards and prize money to all our, our winners for today. Now, before we close um, for today, um, Misty Bayou, who's from the uh, Ruma KIR and um, Coin Network, who actually sponsored some of the awards that we talked about earlier, wants to give um, a vote of thanks um, for us. So over to you, Misty Bayou. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, 
Congratulations, students. It's a great event. Okay. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to send my respect, pride, and gratitude to the entire Virtual Africa Says Booker Festival. I was surprised when there was a birthday greeting at the end of the event and the opening ceremony. Thank you, Sandila. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Knowledge. Dear finalists, your passion for research is very important. Curiosity is the first step in the learning to research. I have a message for all of you, great students. When you love research, then actually you have learned something important to be able to protect the world. Through research, we will become humans who can take care of each other. In the end, thank you to Mr. Kenole Chikundi and the team for creating such a great event during the pandemic, Africa Says Booker Festival. I have proven that we still have the patience to continue working through the research. It is a harmony in a diversity. Congratulations, warm brigade, and goodbye next year. Bye. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you so much, Misty Bayou. Thank you so much. Right, so we've come to the end of our award ceremony and closing ceremony. Um, the three-day showcase has been such an inspirational platform, even for myself, and I'm sure to all the young scientists out there who are watching, those who participated, those who are just supporting. Um, catch us next year again. Uh, I'm sure we'll have a much bigger and uh, a platform that will reach so many students um, globally. So I think in closing, I'd just like to say thank you so much, Mr. Knowledge Chukundi. Your, your vision for, you know, making um, science a priority in, in all these um, students' lives, uh, you know, it, it's such, it's such a, a great thing. And I'm sure it has motivated a lot of them to do better, to do better, especially for the communities around them and even stretching out far wide into other communities that they might not be from. Thank you so much for organizing. Thank you to your team as well for organizing this very, um, brilliant um, platform uh, for scientists worldwide. I'd also like to thank our sponsors, the Broadcom Foundation, uh, the Ruma Care, our coin network, um, and all other supporting organizations who are with us. All our speakers, I say thank you. All the young scientists, I say thank you. Uh, keep on keeping on. Uh, even if you, you didn't get um, any awards today that you might have wanted, it's okay, keep on keeping on. Uh, remember what Pelagia said in day one, you know, if you can't run, walk, if you can't walk, crawl, keep on going, you eventually um, achieve your goals um, in the future. And I hope you guys will make friends from all over the world, keep in touch, keep exploring, keep being curious, and we'll see you next year. So from me, I say goodbye and um, have a good year ahead. Thank you.